Since the time of the Founding Fathers, dark forces have been preying on America. As the fight against these vampires continued, a secret organization has trained people with remarkable skills. The agent's duty is to protect ordinary people from the forces of evil. Nunzu chatty with his gut sprayed all over a train carriage. I know how to shape an explosion, Edgar. Secretary of War, not the Secretary of Bridges. Uh, let's go have a look see. I go high. Nah, it's not that bad. Gotta be careful. <clears throat> Let's give it a try.
1857, 1864, 1881. Arranged in order of vintage like fine wines. All dead. Fuck. Chester. the river somehow. This would be a bad time for this thing to collapse. I'll take that.
more ticks. Money. Looks like you could use a hand. Keep playing around and fill it. Bless you. Jesus. Christ. <laughs> Worst damn barbecue ever. Hey, boyo, guess who's riding in first class and responsible for the biggest delivery in gathering history? Remember when the dream of attending the gathering was just that? Wishful thinking, but I am on my way soon to be hobnobbing with the creme de la creme the oldest the wisest the most powerful This is where it begins if I play this right in 100 years I'll be the one being catered to by human douchebags like you. That's it for now. I must bid you adieu There's still much to do and I can't louse this up yours truly Chester the catering king could get me through.
Okay, let's dance. I can smell you, Chess, you lousy skunk. More money. Let's get that son of a bitch! <laughs> Young Rent here. Still on your father's leash, I see. <laughs> Heard you were on your way to the gathering, Chess. What's this? Catering? Why, I have no idea what you... That big shiny ball out there is no good for your sensitive skin. The sun's not to know what they'll do to me. Fun game. Let's test that theory. No, no, Richard, stop! Belmontville! The, the gathering's in Belmontville! 
Excellent choice, Chester. And since you're feeling so damn helpful, we're gonna be needing a guide. Consider it a promotion. Give shit. Belmont Bill's a long way from the manor. We're on a clock here. We've been hunting Debano for three months. What's another few hours? <sighs> have it your way. But your father's gonna have your ass as an ashtray if we don't make that presentation. You're retired. What's he gonna do? Fire you? <laughs> Belmontville Mines, huh? Oh, we're gonna be walking blind into a damn maze. And if our tick friend here is telling the truth, the Bono's gonna be right in the middle of it. I don't think I'm in a position to lie, do you? <laughs> That's the spirit, Chester. Now you lift those fancy illusions, and who knows? Maybe you'll make it out of this after all. The glamour! I... <laughs> Even I have my limitations, Mr. Gravener. You want a limitation? How about walking around without a head? Crawling with familiars. No question. <laughs> and where do you think you're going? Judging by that tone of yours, Sounds like I'm making sure Fancy Pants here doesn't make a run for it. In broad daylight. That's why we need familiars. I'm starting to question your qualifications for this job. Those ass licking. <laughs> Tick lovers should be shot on sight. Ah, what the hell. Maybe we can play with dynamite out here too. Right, Jess? I'll make you a new waistcoat. I don't believe my tailor would like that. See? You're bonding already. Ah, eat me! That gathering won't find itself, you know? Move it! The can is right there in front of you. Oh, shut up. I told you my sight's not recovered after the change. Hey, so you're telling me it's not the booze? not gonna happen.
your head on a wall! Must be close by. Fucking maze. Gotta be a way out, though. about right.
I'll bet my last dime to Bono's here somewhere. Dead end. Great. Hmm? You seeing this too? Take it off. Mr. Rentier, on a first date? What do you take me for? You're right. Maybe a little light to set the mood. No, no need. I see it now. Of course. The glamour. I'm on it. Today, Chester. Please. I need to concentrate. It's not that easy to sever the illusion from its source. What's the source? You don't want to know. Switch. I'll take the explosives, you get to Bono. Is this about the bridge? It's not not about the bridge. <sighs> Got the damn train, didn't I? Tech architecture, but that, that's something. It's hard to compete against the species that keeps on growing and advancing with their technology, creating new and more dangerous weapons of war and other engineering marvels. As I see it, the real struggle is nature versus technology. Instinct versus genius. We have allowed those naturally subordinate to us to transform themselves from prey into predators. If we don't alter this trajectory, eventually they will murder us all.
not enough. unique species brothers and sisters we are not bred we are not born we come to life when we accept the gift of change our powers are many and they have served us well the art of glamour has given us safety through secrecy but i am afraid we are becoming the victims of progress sooner or later Human technology will find a way to see past our illusions. They will expose and demonize us and make us their ultimate enemy. Inevitably, we will become their inferiors. Jesus, it's huge. When did they build this? And how?
gate somehow. Yeah. Okay. Got a few more. their little party. We consider ourselves proud hunters, predators, but that pride sometimes prevents us from growing as a species. Internal divisions have weakened us. Our numbers dwindle while their numbers grow, but it's not too late. We can still survive, but to do so, we must be ready to adapt. We cannot be too proud to evolve. be more powerful. They will crush us with their numbers. Listen to the voice of reason. Enough. Your lines first for all out war with the humans endangers us all. Peace of Havana. Without the shield. The wolves go hungry, yes. But the day is coming when the sheep will outwit the wolves. Haven't you been watching, brother? The humans have harnessed the power of steam and lightning, and they grow mighty. If our hubris allows us to grow fat and lazy in the shadows, they will soon have the power to hunt us down like dogs. <sighs> And so, you propose war. War suggests there is a chance we might lose. I propose we strike with my new asset. We can control the change. Reclaim the Sanguasuja's rightful place at the top of the food chain. You control the change. Are you mad? Even suggesting such a thing is blasphemy. Dominic, brother, these are blasphemous times. While my methods may very well be at variance with our tradition, I can tell you one thing. If we don't adapt, we will perish. Enough! I will not allow you and your bastard greed to, to lead us. Into annihilation. Peter Davala, for the high crime of conspiracy against your own kind, I sentence you and your line to the true death. I told you, Father. They wouldn't listen. We had to try, Felicity Mikara. Our work will be a lot easier if we can help them understand. If we can't, then we force them to!
could have brought a bigger knife? Some people get a gold watch when they retire. I got Susan here. <laughs> Should have asked him how to get out of here. Too late. He won't be of any use for a month or two. Wait. What about Chester? Well, what are you gonna do? Now that is how you shape an explosion. Damn, we're late. Now at least we won't be going back to the manor empty-handed. 